All right, all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that taught us this truth. Shalom to the elect, men, women, and children, the believers to be saved in these last days. And salutes to the brothers, teaching his word to the hopeful elect in truth and sincerity. And uh, this video, I'm going to be speaking about a dream that I, I just had. Right, and um, it was about that spiritual power. So I want to get some scriptures on it. All right, I'm gonna start with the book of Acts, chapter one and verse six, and it says, "When they therefore were come together, they asked of, of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel?' And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father have put in his own power, but ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you." And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. All right. So that's the point I wanted how that the Lord is going to give the elect spiritual power. All right. Power from the heavens, power from on high. And in this uh, instance, you had the disciples. They were um, had had the ability to speak in different tongues, all right, different languages. And but they wasn't in the utmost part of the earth, right? In these last days, you have the uh, twelve tribes of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, right? And our scattered seed. We are in the utmost parts of the earth. We've been scattered through the means of our slavery, right, and and our captivity. I right? mainly the mainland of our captivity, America, right? That's America, that which is Babylon, and. We're in the last days, man. So hey, the Lord said that he that the elect will receive power, man. And that's what we're waiting on because I want to uh, bring back to the dream I had. All right. We was in, uh, well, me and at least three brothers, you know, here at GMS London, England, you know, at least three brothers in the camp. Well, uh, we was in the wilderness. All right. We were together and we were walking and we were going through these forests. It was like, you know, vast land, right? And we were led, you know, we just went, walked up onto like this hill, uh, just like a high high ground in a high part of of land where we could see uh, the view, right? And of all the greens and, you know, everything. And we were walking and we came across this man and he looked like an Edomite, you know, just looked like a normal so-called white man. Right, where he p appeared to be, and um, yeah, man, we, we kind of just uh, you know, had a few words, and we were speaking about the land, you know, around us, and that, and he was just pointing. And as he raised up his hand and pointed to certain lands, you know, you know, brothers were looking at his hand, and as he was turning it, we, we noticed that there was a green liquid that was dripping and, and running down the palms of his hand, and we was like, what's going on? You know, we were looking and then we noticed there was a hole in his hand and, and it was a wound, a puncture wound because when we saw on the other side of his hand, there was a, a nail, a, it was a large nail, a long nail that had pierced his hand like through, through his like finger and his palm and it was like lodged in there and, and we probably was wondering, it's probably uh, gangrene or something like that, it, you know, how long it was in his hand for, it, it may have been a, a while, you know, and but he was super relaxed. He was just walking around with, you know, and brothers were, you know, we were looking at him and we was, we was you know, wild, you know, because it was a, 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 you know, a nasty wound. But he was just super relaxed walking around with a nail in his hand. And, you know, he, I don't know, he'd been out in the wilderness for time. He's just <laughs> too painful to remove or something. He was just relaxed. He was like, yeah, like accepted it. Like, yeah, this nail is in my hand. I'm walking around with a nail in my hand. That was his type of spirit. <laughs> and um, so brothers were just looking at it. And, and I remember there was a brother, man. We were like looking at this nail in this man's hand. And I, I was thinking in my mind, is this, are they think brothers thinking what I'm thinking? Of? And it like the spirit, it just got really serious. Like in an instant, everyone was just focused on his hand. And I noticed the brother, Shikar, he put his hand over, you know, like towards the man's hand. Like, you know like and and over his hand and we was all just watching the nail in his hand we were watching it as the brother was putting his hand over his hand 
and and before we know i was just like we, we were looking and before any conclusion could be made we all witnessed the the nail disappear in an instant it just the brother removed that nail through the spiritual power and that nail just disappeared i don't know my reaction straight away was I, I knew it i knew it i knew it i just kept saying that and so let me get this scripture um matthews chapter 17 and verse 20 it says and yahweh i said unto them I'm going to start up verse 18. And, and, Yahu, and Yah, Yahu Shai rebuked the devil, and the devil departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Yahweh Shai apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? And Yahweh Shai said unto them, Because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, If you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, and a mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds. So if you have a small amount of faith, it says, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So we understand that you know, we go through certain troubles and tribulations in this time. But the elect are going to overcome right, through faith in Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, ultimately. You know, and, and that spiritual power will come, man. You know, it's that, that ability to, to, to do these uh, supernatural abilities, man. All right, nothing is going to be impossible. You know, through the faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? And and that that was a key thing that I remember, man, because it's my reaction instantly when I seen that nail be removed. When I when I saw that nail disappear, instantly, I didn't even look to see if anyone else seen it. I I just knew what I see. I was like, yo, that you know, and I was like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. And um. It was the thing, man, because Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai made it happen. It weren't that oh we thought oh let's do this or that or nothing. We didn't go off of our old might. The Lord made that up, made that the outcome. You know, nobody forced anything. It was the Lord caused that those events to happen. Right? I was thinking the scripture, man's goings are of the Lord because you know is. It's not anything that I can say, oh, oh, we could have done or shouldn't have done different or anything. You know, the Lord had it happen how it did, man. Okay. And let me get this scripture. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. And it says, These twelve Yahweh I sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and into any city of the Samaritans. Enter ye not. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Right? And that's what we're doing with this word. You know, the truth, the gospel, the good news, man, that the uh, kingdom of heaven for the Israelites will be on the earth. And it's coming soon, man, it's near, right? We see in the prophecy speeding up and in effect. So we are bringing this truth, man, you know, to the lost sheep of the house of Israel because this salvation is for the Israelites, man. No other nation, okay? And the uh, disciples, they were given power, man, to heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, all right? And this is the thing, man, because in these last days, we're going to need miracles, man. You know, because at the time of trouble, Jacob's trouble, that's coming. Uh, the time of uh, riots, protests, and, and, and you know, um, you're going to have martial law. When martial law is out, when the microchip is mandatory, and you're going to have brothers in the spirit that are led to go off grid, to go into the wilderness, or to, you know, wherever they're led, or, you know, however it happens, and... You know, you always see it in the end time movies. You see how, you know, there are situations, you know, that uh, puts people most at risk uh, of danger in those situations where if you're far off grid from uh, far away from any help or anything else, the worst uh, situations you can be found in is that you're either injured, you know, or illness, right? Injury or illness, all right? Because if you... Uh, you know, uh, eat something or you get, you know, poisoned and you become ill, 
then you're at risk and, and danger of death, right? If you fall or if you break a bone or get cut and you're bleeding out and you're injured, you're at risk and, uh, you know, danger of death. So we got to have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, right? And, and he's going to deliver us out of any situation, man, right? So I'm going to close with this last scripture. This is uh, St. John chapter 14 and verse 12. And it says, verse 11 says, Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you that he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. So, you know, this is going to all, this is always glorifying Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, right? It's not of our own power, our own selves. So, hey, but we believe in Yahweh Shai and, and the miracles. And look at the great miracles he done when he was here, man. You know, um, you know, back in when he was on the scene. So, you know, the Lord was walking on water. The Lord, um, you know, when you know soldiers came to him, they asked for Yahweh Shai, and he said, "I am He," and and you know. Through his spiritual power made them all fall backwards without even, even touching them. Right? The Lord was reappearing, disappearing, you know, f from a boat to on land. You know, so all these things, you know, the brothers are going to get s spiritual powers, man. Supernatural abilities from the Lord. Right? Telepathic, telekinesis, moving things with your mind. Uh, teleporting. All these things, man. They, the scriptures say that the elect shall mount up with wings as eagles, meaning that you're going to have the elect that are going to have be able to fly, to fly without wings, to run and not be weary, man. You know, run at super speed, you know, have the strength of Samson and, and mighty men and being risen up in power, man. We're going to be changed. All right. So verse 13 says, and whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So yeah, man, I had that, that, um, you know, that topic to speak on and, you know, I was like, hey, man, I know how it made me feel, you know, it, hey, man, in my spirit and, you know, it was, it was a joyful dream, man, and, you know, um, yeah, may it be a blessing and, and, you know, edifying and faith boosting for you, Akim. All right, so with that, I'll say, Shalom.